Welcome back to the channel, Den members. You know, we got a lot of traction with our ballistic test of the Timu body armor plates that we did a few weeks back. So much so that a company beyond armor reached out to us and asked if we would like the opportunity to do a field test of some of their alleged 3A rated vests. Naturally, we jumped at this opportunity and they sent over two of their vests. So we are out here today to do a field test to see if these vests are indeed 3A and how the vests would react to these different rounds. Aaron and I are really excited for today's video because we get to destroy two vests and see how much abuse these things can take. Range high. Cease fire, cease fire, what, come what, on. What? It's not rated for that, man. You said we were gonna destroy them. Not with that. Please stand by. You realize we don't have an infinite supply of these, right? We don't. We're just kidding, that was the magic of video editing. Before we get into the actual ballistic testing of this vest, a huge shout out to Beyond Armor for contacting us. It's a huge honor for such a small YouTube channel like the Phantom Llama's Den to be reached out to, to be asked to test out not inexpensive body armor. These 3A vests, and we're calling them 3A vests, we aren't sure yet, we will find out. These are $300 at normal price. Mm -hmm. It's a huge honor to have these sent to us to test them, to demonstrate the effectiveness, or I guess we hope the effectiveness. Yep. Just like the Teemu body armor videos that we did, we want to make it clear, we are not endorsing this vest, we are not endorsing Beyond armor we are not being paid to do this the only way that we have been compensated was having two of these vests sent to us both to destroy we are just testing it and letting you the viewer the potential consumer decide if this is something that you want to spend your hard-earned money on to potentially protect your vital organs and save your life because we were asked to test this vest for 3A capabilities, we actually wanted to do this properly. Therefore, we introduce you to our Phantom Llama's Den Alpha Prototype Ballistic Dummy Torso. This was homemade because we cannot afford a Ballistic Dummy Labs or a clear Ballistic Torso. This torso is pure homemade ballistics gel. It has a PVC pipe through the center for the rebar stand. We aren't expecting this to act like a proper analog for the human body, a human torso. We just wanted to have something that was a facsimile of a human torso that we could put the body armor on. But that's enough about Lieutenant Dan here. We'll go into that in later videos if this is something we continue. Additionally, we are changing up the rounds that we'll be throwing at this vest. NIJ just came out with a new classification. They're getting rid of the level two, level three, level three A, level four, and they're going to handgun one, handgun two, rifle one, rifle two, and I think there's a rifle, rifle three. three. Level three A or handgun two is meant for the heavier, spicier nine millimeter, as well as a 44 Magnum jacketed hollow point and that round is a 240 grain round traveling i believe it's at 1400 1430 feet per second i have sourced the rounds that the nij uses for certification to preserve the vests we're only going to be taking a few shots at it again we are not trying to do a proper NIJ certification, we are just doing a demonstration. So today's test, we are gonna shoot 22 long rifle, we're gonna be shooting the spicy nine millimeter, and we're going to be shooting a 44 Magnum. At that point, we are also going to up the ante. We're going to shoot a one ounce shotgun slug at it. We're then going to shoot a 762 by 39 round for my AK. And we're also going to shoot an M193 556 round. We assume it's going to penetrate this vest. We just want to see how the ballistic dummy and the vest react to these hotter rounds that it is not rated for. Improper English, don't care. For which it is rated. Stop. Three rounds out of my Ruger Mark IV standard.
That, that was, was just gel. That was gel. Never like mind. the loose gel from yeah. the top. Yeah. Not a surprising result. There is absolutely no bulging on the back of the vest. We hit here, here, and then barely can tell right there. Are you surprised, Darren? No. Not shocking at all. Three rounds of 124 grain, nine millimeter FMJ out of a Glock 45. Oh, you can already see it's collapsed in a bit. Yep. Shot one, shot, shot two, two, shot, shot three. three. This is going to cause undue stress on Lieutenant Dan. That wasn't there before. It's not a penetration, it's just the fabric tore. Okay. Okay. Some superficial damage on the, the torso on the lower right abdomen there, but nothing that actually went through, just a little bit of you know skin loss and yep. maybe a little bit of bleeding. And to be fair, this could just be because of the torso that we've made. But it did stop the nine millimeter. You are at least a level two, probably. We don't have a 357 Magnum. I thought we had access to a 357 Magnum. We unfortunately don't, but we're testing 3A. If it stops the 44 Magnum, it'll stop the 357. I can't wait to see the comments in the comment section say, you don't know that. Next up, we're shooting the channel's new 44 Magnum firearm, the Taurus Tracker. Oof. Lieutenant Dan, are you okay? So we've got one, two, and three. For reference on how badly this thing is zeroed at 10 yards, I was shooting here. You're feeling it. Mm. Yikes. I mean, nothing's, but, nothing's penetrating. No. So let's take a look at the vest here. No penetration. It is torn up, but it is containing. Yep. All those shots went right there. We gotta start using the top right of it. I was aiming at the <laughs> top right. Conclusions. It does what it's supposed to. At least this sample does. It would seem to us then that this is in line with the NIJ standards for handgun two or three A classification. Again, we aren't sure if this is actually certified beyond armor. Again, I apologize on that, but I didn't see. It's rated for it, but we don't know if it's certified. Aaron, do we wanna just go ahead and do the exact same test on the back of the vest? Sure, and I think we can probably learn a little bit from how things went the last time. Once again, three rounds of 22 out of Ruger Mark IV on the back side of the vest. One of those trays. When did you know it did not penetrate? So once again, you're you're feeling that, but there's absolutely no penetration there. Looks like the back so far is holding up to the same standard as the front. Next up, Aaron, you get to shoot the Taurus. Ooh. Oh my, look at the bulge. That did some damage. Oh, he's still not. Pay no heed to that. There. Aaron was shooting a little too high and right. Yeah. Boy, that would not be fun. I mean, it's better than having a bullet go through. But Absolutely no penetration. No, no penetration, but also no ribs. Ribs will heal. Come back here, Aaron. What? Come back here. We're having, we're, we're losing him. So mid video conclusions, 
These vests from Beyond Armor it appears to do what it says it does and it appears to be a reasonable facsimile according to the evidence that we've seen so far today. I'm pleased with these results and we will have a link down in the description. Again, we are not endorsing this product, but we figure, you know what? Let you decide if you wanna buy this based on the empirical evidence found here. I guess we have one more test that Aaron wants to do to this plate. <laughs> It will seemingly protect against a wild Aaron appearing. <laughs> now, when I was speaking to our contact at Beyond Armor, I asked that they send us two vests because we honestly thought our shots would do a little more damage than they did. We feel obligated to at least use the second vest. So now with the second vest, we're gonna see what happens when you shoot it with rounds that this is not rated to go up against. First up is going to be a round of buckshot, double out buck through my Benelli M4, and then we're going to shoot a one out slug. Double out buck. Oh, it's inside it. I think that it's gonna collapse if I take the vest off one more time. So I'm gonna shoot the slug. I think it's gonna all fall apart. Yeah, there's PVC pipe on the ground here. We're gonna put a slug through this. We'll take the vest off try and salvage it for the rest of the rounds. Oh. The vest is inside you, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, oh no! Lieutenant Dan! To be fair, it did stop it. It did. It's like a buy to your innards, though. You just got rearranged. Yeah. All right, um, let's get out the rifles. <laughs> oh, we're gonna shoot the back of this and we're just gonna aim for over here. <laughs> What's left of it? 124 grain, 762 by 39 out of a YouTube compliant 20 round magazine. Oh gosh. Well, look. 762 by 39 against 3A vest, no surprise, but didn't stop. And boy, did it do some, did do some damage on both sides of the vest. And an incredible wound channel there. Yep. I don't know why we're doing this, but let's get the AR-15 out. Last up is an M193 55 grain 556 five, round out of my AR-15. I don't need a magnifier. Entry wound, exit wound. Naturally, if the best wasn't going to be able to stop a 760 by 39 round, which is heavier but a lot slower, it wasn't stopping a 556. Again, shocking. At the beginning of the video, you saw us riddle this vest with 57 by 28 rounds out of my PS90. You can see. Yeah. Again, through the magic of editing, this was actually the last round we put in this vest. A few of the rounds did get stuck in the back plate, but most of them went all the way through. The 57 by 28 blue tip is a nasty, tiny little penetrating round. Aaron, our prototype Lieutenant Dan, has really done well today. This is a very good thing. This is a huge success for us. We're very excited. However, I think it's time for us to part ways. This is my love. <laughs> what are you doing? It still works. No, it doesn't. It literally has holes in it. It's really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it looks comfortable. I think that concludes our field test, our stress test, our demoing of the Beyond Armor vests, their 3A vests. They seem to be holding up to the 
3A standard. A huge shout out to Beyond Armor. Thank you guys for reaching out to us. Thank you so much for sending us two vests to test. It was a lot of fun. If you make a body armor that you want to have tested, let us know. We'd be happy to destroy some more stuff for everybody. Can I say something? Sure. Thank you to Matt, seriously. Um, you guys don't see a lot of the stuff that happens behind the scenes, but Matt provides the transportation, he provides the guns, he provides the ammo, uh, he provides, to a degree, the location. Uh, we have other benefactors that have helped us out with that. But Thank you, Michael. Thank you to Matt for allowing me to come out and help with the channel so frequently. Okay, stop, stop blowing sunshine. You already got to shoot ammo, whatever. We're going to go get somewhere warm. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And you can hit the bell icon to get notifications of future videos that come out every Friday. Be sure to follow us on X, Instagram, and Twitch. And as always, don't take life too seriously. And make it a great day.